Welcome back. In a previous video, we mentioned that one of the main reasons for using interface views is to enable a top-down or contract-first modeling approach. This is because interface views can be defined before implementing them and connecting them to actual data sources. In this video, we'll show you how to connect an interface view to an underlying implementation view. In an earlier video, we created the client info interface, and now we'll provide an implementation for this interface view. We're going to create a derived view based on the client with bills view that we created in an earlier video. This view is quite similar in structure to the client info interface view. A requirement for a view to be a valid implementation for an interface is that it must have fields that match the definition in the interface. As the client with the bills view doesn't exactly match the client info interface, we'll have to do some transformation first. Since our implementation is based on a single view, we only need to use a selection to create the implementation that we need. We'll give the view a meaningful name in this case, we'll call it client info impl. And now we'll do the necessary transformation. We'll remove any unwanted fields. We can rename fields so that they match the interface view field names. If necessary, we can transform the data format or the data type for a field. And we can add new fields. In this case, we're concatenating name and surname to create a field called full name. And also we're concatenating street, city, zip, and state to create a full address field. When we're done with the transformation, we can click on OK to save the results. Now that we have a view that matches the signature of our interface, all we have to do is link them together. So in our example, this means that we need to configure the client info interface view to use the new implementation view that we've just created. We do this by opening the client info interface view and then going to the implementation tab. And now we just drag our new view onto the design pane. 
if for any reason your implementation view doesn't match the definition of the interface, the implementation tab will be marked with a tooltip indicating this fact and explaining why the view is not compatible with the definition of the interface. In our example, everything seems to match. So now we have an implementation of the interface, which means that the interface view itself can be queried and return results. And in order to test it, you can run a query against the interface and see the return results. This is because the interface view now has an implementation behind it, which will return those results.